What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys to Generation 8 Regional Bird. We got ourselves a Corvo 19 for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Corvo Knight, this Pokemon is actually really solid in the competitive scene. It's got Mirror Armor, rocking the Leftovers as item with the Fairy Terror type, and then it's got Brave Bird, Body Press, Bulk Up, and Roost, so we can recover HP, boost our defense and attack stat, and then do big time damage with Body Press or even stab Brave Bird. So, love this Pokemon, cannot wait to showcase it all. But the restricted Pokemon that we are using on today's team going to be Miraidon. Now, Miraidon hits like an absolute truck, especially with the choice specs as its item. It's got Hadron Engine to set that terrain, and it also has Electro Drift, Volt Switch, Discharge, and Jerico Meteor for its moveset, a pretty standard moveset for all Miraidons. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Dark Urshfu, Whimsicott, and Frigraph, two support Pokemon. One can set up the Tailwind and Encore, the other one can set up the Trick Room, and you know, Helping Hand kind of boosts some damage for ally Pokemon, and then our final Pokemon going to be Iron Hands, the perfect Pokemon to pair up with Miraidon due to that Quark Drive ability. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Corv Knight in Regulation G. We're going up against a top tier artist in match number one, we're going up against Smeardle. This Pokemon, really annoying, it has Fake Out, it has Spore, it has Follow Me, it can do a lot of different things. Furthermore, the Rock and Annihilate, Wellspring, Ogre Pond, Urshifu, Ursaluna, and Calyrex. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them pop Trick Room. But to be honest, I think going into like our bird right here could be pretty good. Considering if we get off some bulk ups, we can really get rocking out with that Pokemon. So I'm going to go into the bird. I'm also going to go into, I think, Iron Hands here. We can fake out, try to get this bulk up up, and kind of go from there. I think that's pretty good for us. I think that's not bad. I'm going to end up going into both of them. I am going to go into the Focus Sash Urshfu. And last but not least, I just think having Choice Specs me ride on could definitely come in clutch. I could go into Frigoraph, but again, Choice Specs me ride on. If I get off at least one turn with this Pokemon, you know it's picking up some big time damage. So I do like that. I do like that a lot. So let's see who they end up leading. Because again, we know that we know kind of what they want to do. They want to set up Trick Room. They want to use Ice Rider, Calyx, Ursaluna, and just like get after me. But with. Corviknight, if I can bulk up defense, it actually has really good typing up against all these guys. So we're gonna see a Smeargle come out here turn one. We're gonna see Ice Rider Calyrex come out here as well. Um, did we think he fakes out my Corviknight? Or my Iron Hands? You could fake out my Iron Hands. I wanna go for a bulk up regardless. So I'm gonna go for a bulk up here and I'm gonna fake out the Calyrex. Cause the reason being, if this Smeargle fakes out my Corviknight, then we fake out Iron or then our Iron Hands fakes out the Calyrex and we get a neutral turn. But if he fakes out, if Smeargle fakes out my Iron Hands, then Corviknight just gets off a free bulk up. They can pop a Trick Room. No big deal. As long as my Corviknight gets bulked up, right? So I'm cool with this. We're going to go for a fake out. Maybe he goes for follow me. I don't know. But yeah, there's a fake out there. No big deal. He's going to fake out that. We're going to get off a free bulk up. We're going to get ourselves a defense boost. On top of that, we get an attack boost. But really, we're only here for body press purposes only. And he's gonna go for Glacial Lance, which I don't mind. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Corvin actually soaks rather well. Same thing with Iron Hand. So no Trick Room. We like that. Plus, I got Leftovers cooking. I'm gonna go for another Bulk Up here. This seems like a nice Bulk Up turn. So I'm gonna go for a Bulk Up here. And I'm just gonna go for a Drain Punch into this, uh, into this Smeargle slot. Even though it's probably Focus Ash. But I would love to just get back some HP. I would love to just get back some HP. So no Trick Room comes out here just yet. You could honestly end up protecting Calyrex here. And you don't. I was kind of hoping that would be the play. But that's fine. I'll take another free bulk up. Plus one on defense. Plus one on attack. High horsepower. We're going to fly through here. And I pick up the dodge. Which is pretty massive here. He's going to go for a decorate here. Which is looking a little scary. And we're going to have to attack that Pokemon next turn. But nice lovely drain punch is going to be good for us. Decorate. You're going to decorate up. Drain punch. going to bring you down to focus ash. We're going to get back a ton of HP. Which is good, good news for us. He's going to sash up. And out comes the HP. Getting back almost 60. Actually, maybe more than 60. Around there, though. Great HP back. We have our leftovers cooking. Um, He's going to look to probably decorate again, right? Decorate is so good. Plus two boost. That's absurd. Plus two boost is absurd. It is absurd. I'm going to go for a body press here. Um, Let's go for another drain punch. Wow, that's crazy. He's going to go for another decorate boost here. Which is terrible for us. 
He might be able to KO me at this point. Wow, yo, Decoree adds up quickly. Did I do anything else? Who do I have in the back end? I got Urshfu. I'm just going to attack here. I'm pretty much forced to attack. I, I wasn't expecting to see that Decoree. He's going to follow me the body press shot, which kind of sucks, man. He's going to follow me the body press shot. We're going to take out the Smeargle. I mean, I'm still pretty bulky on my defensive side. But this thing being plus two can really chip up some damage. Brain Punch is going to fly. How much damage are we doing on our hands? Okay, I, I seen, I've seen better damage. <laughs> I've seen better damage. That's okay damage. Um, And he's just going to throw Glacial Lance, right? Or no, he's going to finally go for that Trick Room. So High Horsepower could definitely fly. Ursa Luna could come out here. I love Corviknight's typing up against Ursa Luna, which is really good for us. Because he can't hit us with ground moves, and then normal moves are going to be not very effective. So both of that works out really, really well. Um, Corviknight has Glacial Lance, which is doing not that much damage to Corviknight. I mean, it's plus two now. Can't hit me with high horsepower. And I don't know if I should swap. But they're just going to go into Urshfu. Dark Urshfu. Which we do not like. I mean, you don't have Focus Ash, so I could just rip up into you. But I really want to send Body Press into that slot. And then just go into a Drain Punch into this slot. So I know I'm doing big time damage into this thing. But we're just going to see a Terra here. So Terra Type's going to pop out here. This is scary because it's definitely Dark Terra Type, right? No, it's going to be Ghost. Ghost works great. He's going to dodge the Drain Punch, but at least my Body Press still flies into his uh, Calarx slot. The Drain Punch going to fly here, get absolutely nothing. It's good to know that my uh, that my Iron Hands is slower, but it's going to die out to his High Horsepower. The High Horsepower dumps on me. I think Corviknight might go before Urshfu, which could be good, good news for us. And it does, because Body Press can now fly and do, eh, do some damage. And of course you got the Berry. Of course you got the berry. He's gonna go for a wicked blow. The wicked blow flies, it's a crit that's doing some damage. We don't like that one bit. At least they get back some HP. So Trick Room is still out and about, and they actually said Trick Room real late. I need to save it for my me a ride on here, right? I mean I do have Electric Terra. And do I think I should just like go into Electric Terra Discharge now? Or do we think we should try to waste out some Trick Room turns? We could try to waste out some Trick Room turns. I'm all about it. Because I know you don't have Focus Ash, which is really good. I know you don't have Focus Ash. And I think I could just go for a Sucker Punch at this point. And then just protect my Corviknight. Which could be good. Because again, we have Focus Ash, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. We're really just looking to like waste out these Trick Room turns. So again, I'm just going to go for a... Oh, I don't even have Protect with you. I don't even have Protect for you. That really sucks. If I can go for a roost, I'd love to go for a roost. But I'm going to Sucker Punch actually you. Do we think that's going to KO you? Actually, I don't know. I don't think it's going to KO the... Uh... I do have Dark Terror type. You know, we're going to KO this Calyrex. I'm going to get rid of this Calyrex here. I'm going to Terrasalize just try to dump on the Calyrex. It needs to go. Calyrex needs to go. We need to get rid of Calyrex right here, right now. So yeah, I'm going to hit this Terra button. We have Focus Ash, which is good. This will be Stab, super effective, Terra boost it. I'm really hoping this could just KO this Calyrex, because we let this Calyrex get, or stay on this field a bit too long here. So I'll Terrastalize, I go for the Sucker Punch, it's flying here. Right into the Calyrex slot, for the KO. Ah! Why? Why are you living on one? Why are you living on one HP? We really just lost the match because of that. We really just lost the match because of that. That's so tough. That's tough news there. Maybe I should have went after the Urshifu. Maybe I should have went after Urshifu. One HP bandit for the loss. That is terrible. That is terrible. Because if Calyrex dies out here, my Urshifu survives that wicked blow. Or if you're going after Corviknight, my Corviknight dies out there. But then I could just sucker punch the, uh... So what's called the Urshfu whenever I want. I still have my Focus Ash. Everything would have worked out perfectly, and then we would have had one turn left in Trick Room. Your item would have eventually got after it, got off some discharges, did some big time damage, and we would have won this match. We definitely would have won this match. Because our final Pokemon has probably got to be Ursaluna, right? And that would have made it a bit closer, but I mean, I could have just close combat it. He had no Terror type either, but I'm still going to go for this discharge. Chance already goes for Glacial Lands and just ends this match. But still, one HP Bandit on the Calyrex. Nothing I hate more than that. 
Nothing I hate more than that. Honestly, maybe I hate RNG more than that sometimes, but one HP bandit is just terrible. But he's gonna end up protecting Calyrex. You're saying there's a chance. He goes for a wicked blow. Can we soak this? We don't even soak. He just dumps on me. <laughs> no problem. Yo, wicked blow is so strong. Honestly, that might be a choice ban urge food, but still. We put up a good fight. Calyrex living on one HP. We end up losing. You gotta love a 1 HP bandit. Calyrex surviving on 1 HP and we end up losing the match. But we're here in match number 2 looking to bounce back. This is our bounce back game. Going up against a Coridon Sun team with Brute Bonnet, Raging Bolt, Fluttermane, Tornadus, and Chiyu. So honestly, this kind of sucks. We have no weather control, but they don't have any terrain control. Which is good news on our end. We could end up going into Whimscott, which is a pretty good Pokemon. Um, I could always taunt people. I could set up a Tailwind. I think that's good for us. Plus, we can stop any fake out users, but they don't have any fake out users. But I still like Wimscott. So, Wimscott's going to come in here for a lead. I could just go into like Meat Ride on and start looking to do some big time damage. They have a few grass types. Um, they have an electric type. I do like Meat Ride on here. Um, hmm. A lot of special attackers, which is a little bit of a problem for us. I could go into you as well. What do you get boosted with Quirk Drive? You're going to get Attack Boost, which is actually really nice for us. I mean, you got Ice. I might honestly lead you. I might honestly just lead you. What's your speed at? 70, so that's, uh, that's okay. I mean, I could just lead your ride on, obviously. And I think that's going to be my play more soon than anything. So I'm going to go with your ride on. I'm going to bring Iron Hands in the back end. And last but not least, let's just go into Urge Food. First turn priority with Sucker Punches. Also, it has Focus Sash, so it can like take a shot. Get off a wicked blow from there. Just do some big time damage. But yeah, Urshfu let us down in the last match. I thought Sucker Punch would KO. Actually, at first I was like, I don't think it's going to KO. And then I realized I had a Dark Terror. I was like, this should KO. Went for it. One HP, bro. Like, just like a little slither of HP. That's the worst thing to see. That that red bar down the one. Like, come on, man. What more do I have to do? But he ends up going into Chiyu and Fluttermain. Um, is Fluttermain booster energy? Because this might just be a discharge play for me. I might just choice into discharge here and sacrifice my, uh, my, what's it called? I might just sacrifice my, my, uh, my Wimscott. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to go right into this electric terror. Sorry, Wimscott. We're going to go tailwind discharge here. I play all day. I play all day long. We're going right into Discharge. We're not playing no games here. No games here in match number one. Or match number two. My fault. No games here in match number two. So honestly, yeah, I can see this KO on Wimscott. Even though it's not very effective, it's the damage output is just ridiculous. They're not going to change up terrain. They could go into maybe like Booster Energy Fluttermain, like with a swap, but... I mean, Tailwind Discharge is definitely going to play all day. One of you guys got to be Sash, right? I'm scared of what this does. I'm kind of scared. Wimscott, how much damage are you taking? It just took out the whole field, except for Fluttermane, who's going to be sashed. <laughs> so see you later, Chiyu. Fluttermane's going to sash up. We took out our Wimscott. No big deal, though. Like I said, oh, we get a Paralyze, though, too. That's big time news for us. Can you be Paralyzed this turn? If you're Paralyzed this turn, this is an amazing turn. This could be really good for us. And no, he's just going to be able to drop a Moonblast. So I wonder who he's going to go into. Maybe Raging Bolt? I do have Vest with you, and it's going to be not very effective, but I think just going into you and, like, detecting is probably our best bet, right? I think that's our best bet, just detecting you. Who you got cooking out here? It's going to be Raging Bolt. The Raging Bolt flies here. Again, we're just going to detect this turn. I could honestly sash up and then go for Wicked Blood, but let's just play it smart. Let's just do that. Let's just go into a discharge here. I'd like to rip up some damage. We might even protect the Fluttermane, but Fluttermane is paralyzed, which is good news for us. And discharge still should honestly do some nice damage to uh, Meiji Bolt. You guys seen how much damage it just did to our Women's Cut, which it was not very effective. But Raging Bolt, a bit more bulkier, could be rocking Assault Vest. Has better typing. And we're just going to see a Terror type pop out here. Is he going into Fairy? Don't, don't do me a favor. No, you're going straight electric. Okay, I was going to say, are you doing me a favor? And going into a fairy typing? But maybe he thinks we're going for Draco Meteor. No, we're just, we're choice spec into this. So I end up detecting here. He's going to go for a Thunderclap. You get off no damage here. So me ride on just ripping. Just ripping here early on in match number two. 
I told you, it's our bounce back game. We're looking to bounce back. We pretty much know their final Pokemon. Oh, wow, we do half damage. You're making me want to keep this Pokemon on the field. I have Focus Ash. I have Focus Ash. You're going to go into uh, Karidon here, correct? Yeah. I think I still throw Discharges. I think I still throw Discharges, right? I think I still throw Discharges. I really do. Because we have speed with Tailwind. Two turns left in Tailwind. And I think we just go for Sucker Punch. Just to lower your HP and make sure that you die. And plus you might go for Thunderclap. Because what I'm really thinking here is... Uh, I'm really thinking that uh, we can KO the Rage Bolt here. And just Focus Ash up our Urshifu, right? We have Focus Ash. So I don't mind hitting it. So I'm just going to keep sending Discharge. As much as I want to swap out, we're going for the Sucker Punch here, which almost KOs. You going for Thunderclap? You are going for Thunderclap again. So good call for us to go for the Sucker Punch. Discharge is going to KO the Raging Bolt. We're going to Focus Ash our Urshifu. And chances are he's just going to KO my uh, ride on here, right? But this match, this match was over regardless. Because we outspeed. It, it, like, let me let me explain. So let's see who he ends up KOing first. He's probably gonna end up KOing my Miraida, correct? With like Flare Blitz or something. Collision course. No, you end up KOing my You end up KOing Urshfu. That's fine too. But my whole thought process here was once Karidon is the last Pokemon, if he KOs my Miraidon, we still have one turn left in Tailwind. We can hit through protect and just KO it. And if you KO my Urshavu, like you just did, my Miraidon outspeeds and you have no first turn priority, so I can just even go first without the Tailwind. So everything works out perfectly here. We have Iron Hands in the back end. We're going to pull him out here. We could go for a Fake Out. And we probably are. We're just going to go for a Fake Out Discharge here. And honestly, I wish I didn't have the Discharge. Because I'm going to do some damage to my uh, Iron Hands here. But luckily my Iron Hands is Assault Vested. And they cancel match regardless. So bounce back match there in match number two. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Look for a winning record. Final match on its way, and we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Raichu. We're sitting 1-1, one one, looking to go for a 2-1 winning record. They also have Indeedee and Sneasel, which could be a lead for them, right? Psychic Seed Sneasel with Unburdened. I don't like that. I don't really like that. I mean, I could go into my uh, Corviknight here, which I kind of like. And I could bring Frigraph in the back end because a lot of first-turn priority here. A lot of first-turn priority. Raichu... They also have Urshifu with like Aqua Jet or Sucker Punch, whichever one it is. They also have Sneasel with Fake Out. So I definitely want to bring Furigraph in here somewhere. So I could lead Furigraph. I think I kind of just want to lead like Miraidon. No, because then they would just bring Indeedee. Because we know Indeedee's coming out here. But I like Corviknight here. I could just lead the Furigraph. And yeah, I am going to end up leading Furigraph with Urshifu and Miraidon. Go to me by play gonna be my play but this one seems like it's gonna be tough with Fluttermane and Calyrex and even Raichu. Raichu is decent on support right its stats aren't all that good but support wise like moveset really solid fake out it has helping and it now learns Endeavor which could be terrifying especially with Focus Ash I don't want to th even think about that Endeavor is just such a crazy strong move at on certain Pokemon right it's a niche move that can be very strong and whenever you see it, it's usually very strong right are they gonna end up leading Urshifu? Is this water or dark? It's gonna be dark just like ours. And we're gonna go for Rigorath and Corvo. So for Rigorath, Corvo come out here. Um, mm, how do I play this one? I might just have to. I should go into a body press here. I could go into bulk up. Bulk up could be good. I am gonna end up bulking up here and go to you in the ground. Could hard swap into my Urshifu. I think that's in our best interest. Save our Frigoraph. We're gonna hard swap right into our Urshifu. Right into our Urshifu. So I'm gonna look to get off a of bulk up here. Maybe he goes for an attack. I would think he goes for like a Wicked Blow into the Frigoraph slot. Rasalizing uh, it wouldn't really help us. And he ends up just dropping a Follow Me. So Follow Me just protects Urshifu. I don't know how to feel about this. And there's the Wicked Blow. So how much damage are you taking? Not that much. That's a great swap for us. And we get off a of bulk up. And we get off a of bulk. Cool. So now we're sitting plus one on attack. Plus one on defense, which is pretty good. Do I go for another bulk up? 
I think I'm just gonna Terra Fairy. And go for a body press. And a wicked blow. That's my play. That's my play. We're terrestrializing the fairy. Because I am scared of the wicked blow just flying and doing insane amount of damage into my uh into my Corviknight. So I'm gonna tear it into that fairy typing. We love a good old fairy typing. We love a good old fairy typing. Let's see what they're gonna get cooking here. So I mean if their Urshfru does outspeed mine, which I I don't know if it does. That's actually cutting it close. You can just KO me with close combat. But we'll see a Terra from them first, which is most likely the Urshfru, right? No, it's gonna be Indeedy getting a Terra type. He's gonna go straight into Fairy. So we're seeing double Fairy Terra type here. Double Fairy Terra types. Now, are you going in to follow me again? Most likely. And that works super well because we're going for Wicked Blow and Body Press. That's just a perfect Terra type that I wasn't ready for, especially on a support Pokemon. You don't really expect Terra types to pop out in support Pokemon as much as offensive Pokemon. So we'll see Double Fairy pop out here. Quiver Knight ready to roll. Wicked Blow gonna fly into Indeedee. No Follow Me comes out here, which is pretty good for us because Body Press can do some damage on the Urge Fruit, which we like. Rocky Helmet damage gonna fly. Wicked Blow is gonna fly over this slot, and this is exactly why we want to Terrastalize. And Indeedee, what are you doing? You're going for Dazzle Green. That's gonna KO my Urge Fruit. Does KO my Urge Fruit. Tough news. Tough news you KO my Urge Fruit. Can I KO your Urge Fruit? Or are you Sashed? We don't even we don't even know if you're sash or not. We do get a crit though. I do like a big time crit. So I get back some leftovers now. Might be a good time for us to roost. Could also be a good time for us to just go into me ride on here. And force them to probably just like swap the uh indeedy, right? So you could go for sucker punch. You could go for sucker punch. Um who's your back end Pokemon potentially? Could be Raichu, could be Fluttermane. Could be Raichu. Do we think it's Raichu? I think it's possibly Raichu. I kind of want to roost, but at the same time, I think we have to get rid of this Urshifu here. I think we have to get rid of this Urshifu. I'm gonna roost up here. I'm gonna go after Urshfu. Please don't be a Raichu swap. You have a problem. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Are you going for Wicked Blow here? That's the real question. So we have terrain control for the rest of the match. I mean, the thing is, you might be able to KO me with Wicked Blow, which is terrifying. I went for a roost here, too. Rocky Helmet, I take some damage, which is crazy because. It's technically a contact move, but it's a special attacking move, which is kind of weird. Yes, Urshfu's just giving us problems. He goes for Wicked Blow. Can we soak this, please? Nah, dude, Urshfu's just so strong. It honestly is. But I get to go back up full HP. I mean, I have my lovely Corbin chilling here. I'm able to roost up. I'm surprised he didn't swap there. And I get the Electric Seeds up here as well. So I have Frigoraf ready to roll. Uh, I could pop Trick Room, which might be in her best interest, depending on who they go into. Kind of go from there. The thing is, Calyrex is just a massive threat. And yeah, we didn't really play this one too well. I'm going to be honest with you guys. We did not really play this one too well. Because Frigoraph is just getting absolutely mauled by this Wicked Blow here. It's just getting mauled by. I should have took out Urshfu that last turn. I should have just taken out Urshfu. I should have just taken out Urshfu last turn. If I took out Urshfu last turn... I actually would have had a better chance, but I am going to go for a Trick Room here. I can't even, like, block a Protect here. And Calyx is going to end up Protecting here. Can you Detect Urshifu? That would be awesome. No, yeah, Wicked Boy is just going to nuke us. It's just going to nuke us. Alright, so I just have Corviknight left. We are going to KO the Urshifu here, but yeah, we definitely could have played that one better. Instead of Roost, I should have taken out the Urshifu. I should have taken out the Urshfu that turn because at this point we could have just gotten out for a graph without Urshfu on the field and popped the Trick Room. Actually, been sitting in maybe a better position than this and had a shot at winning it. But yeah, just not today, man. Just not today. So, third and final match, we didn't really play too well. First match, we, we honestly played pretty well, just leaving a Calyrex on one HP. And second match, obviously, we played great. We ended up winning that match. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. It's gonna, it's gonna irk me more if it's something that we could just KO. 
It's gonna be Raichu. Yeah, we would have been sitting in a great position. I mean, you could obviously fake me out here, which you're probably gonna do. I'm just gonna attack this uh this Calyrex. But yeah, if we would just taken out the Urshifu, that would have been a great call on our end. Would have been really good on our end. He's gonna nasty plot up. How dare you? How dare you nasty plot? I mean, I am plus one on attack. Maybe we get a crit. Maybe we can take you out. Right, you really doing that much damage to us? I don't think so. What do you got? Maybe Thunderbolt? It's in the Ledger Train, though, which is kind of tough. I'm surprised you didn't swap Raichu when my ride was on the field. That's what I was scared of. That's what I was scared of. But yeah, if I would have just taken out the Earth, I could have gotten a Phorograph, maybe Roost this turn. Oh, I die out to that all day, but that's plus two. I was going to say, I probably could have Roosted the next turn. Get off Trick Room and kind of go from there. But hey, GG to our opponent. We go one and two. We grab ourselves a losing record for today's video. So guys, let this be a lesson. If you're going to use a body press user, just use Amazenta. Corviknight was okay in today's video. Definitely could have been better. I feel like I could have played better in match number three. But again, match number one and match number two, I thought we played pretty well. One HP Bandit, match number one. Match number two, we were kicking it with Miraidon. These charges were flying picking up some big time KOs and more importantly grab yourselves at least one win for today's video but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody